Hi and welcome to Longevity's Learning Lab. Today we're going to look at the Pro MTS 252i. This is a brand new machine from Longevity. It's a MIG, TIG, and stick welder. Uh, it's a 250 amp machine, 220 volt, 110, 220 volt capable uh, with, uh, with the adapter here. So I'm going to go through what the machine comes with and uh, set it up in the different processes and show you what it's capable of. I've just unboxed this machine and these are all the components that it comes with. Uh, here's a flow meter for your MIG and TIG gas bottles. Here's its 220 lead. This lead comes out of the machine. Uh, here's our 220 to 110 adapter for the 220 coming out of the machine. There's our uh, stick welding stinger. Here's our ground clamp. MIG welding torch. Um, air hose. Here's the lower half of the machine. This is where our connections go. Here's our polarity connect. This is going to determine our polarity of the machine. This connection here. So we have negative and positive uh, dense connect and you're going to be able to re reverse the polarity of the machine through this connector. Here's our TIG uh, torch connect. Here's our TIG gas connect and our MIG connect port. All right, so if we want to set up the basic MIG function, function we want to go DC electrode positive. So the polarity of the machine needs to go electrode positive. So the machine and the electrode are essentially the same thing. So we're going electrode or machine positive. Then we're going to take our MIG connect here and it's going to go in. This will thread, thread down to lock it down. And then our ground clamp, here's our ground cable is going to go negative, work negative. So that's going to just come in and turn. Now we're work negative, DCEP electrode machine positive. This is my negative lead. So now I want to change the flux core. I changed my wire inside the machine and I want to change my polarity. So This is now my electrode negative and my workpiece positive. So now we're in DCEN. We'll take a look at the control panel. We have a, a dust and debris shield that covers the control panel. And I'll turn the machine on. Let's start to get the active functions of the machine. Here's our power light. This is a temp overload. If the machine overheats, it'll turn itself off. Uh, this is our primary function, MIG, stick, TIG. So as we scroll through those, those activate the different functions of the process. So we'll start with MIG. Uh, we're in the MIG process. This is our, our wire speed control. It's in meters per minute. And this is our voltage control, 10 to 10 to 30 volts. Uh, this doesn't apply the wave control. This is a little feature that can you can push the wire through without having to to uh, trigger the gun, and you can check your gas flow by just holding this button down. Uh, the remote is not an option, and the spool gun you can turn the spool gun uh, on and off and run a remote spool gun. Uh, not AC, but you can run a remote spool gun with the uh, MIG process. I'm going to move to the stick process here, and now we've moved. Uh, these controls have changed because we're in a stick welding mode now. Uh, so we're looking at amps now, uh, 10 to 250 amps <clears throat> with this control, and this is our our arc force. Uh, I did another video on arc force. Uh, take a look at that and, and it gives a, a decent explanation of what arc force is. Uh, this controls arc force in, in stick welding. And uh, this controls the amount or how the amperage uh, increases in a, uh, in a short circuit on the, um, 
uh, in arc welding, the uh, wire speed and gas are off, remote is off, and the spool gun is, is off here in this function. We'll move over to TIG welding. And again, we're going to use this dial uh, in amps, uh, 10 to 250. We're reading in amps here. And uh, this is our, our downslope in seconds, uh, how the arc terminates, how it reduces amperage at the end of the year weld. The wave control is not available. Remote and spool gun are not an option. But we do have uh, 2T and 4T, and that has to do with two touch, four touch, how the, um, the, um, arc, uh, the amperage ramps up or ramps down in, in the welding process, uh, in the TIG welding process. So it's a relatively easy control panel to use. Uh, not a lot of a huge amount of functions going on here. Very simple, easy to use. Here's our 220 lead. This is our 220 plug to plug into the wall. And there's also the 220 to 110 adapter, which would attach right here and then uh, plug into the 110 socket in the wall. Here's our on off switch, cooling fans. And this is our gas input for, for MIG or TIG. So we just uh, screw our gas lead in. And then this end of the gas lead would either go to 75, 25 for uh, MIG or to in the straight argon bottle for the uh, TIG. I'll just show you this little feature. Here's the TIG and MIG feature. There's a pre-flow, post-flow for your uh, TIG welding gas. And then there's a burn back setting low and high to burn back the wire at the end of the MIG weld. It comes with what you need to get started MIG welding, a spool of wire inside, and you can be MIG welding right out of the box in a few minutes. Uh, some electrodes, you can be stick welding. Easy to operate, uh, simple control system to, to uh, operate the machine, not too complex. Um, very capable, portable machine, not too heavy. I lifted it up here on the table. Uh, thanks for watching the introduction to the Pro MTS. Hope you learned something today.